hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on twist of fate stay tuned on today's episode Rambi and the family are surprised to see the twist in the engagement. Ariana asks Rambi what's happening if the engagement will stop now. Rhea asks Prachi what she did to her hand that Prachi should have taken care of herself. Alia asks Prachi how it happened. Prachi tells she didn't do it deliberately. Alia asks her to exchange the rings. Rhea knows Prachi has done this intentionally to avoid the engagement. Alia thinks she has a solution to counter Prachi's evil moves and wants the engagement to get done at any cost. Prachi gives her right hand to Sid and remembers she had a backup plan for for any odd situation. Shana runs to switch off the lights to help Prachi remove the fuse. Rhea and Alea ask Vikram what's happening. Vikram tells him he would find out. Prachi and Sid bear the rings themselves. Shana fixes the fuse back. Alea tells they would finish the engagement soon. Prachi and Sid show their hands with the rings and tells they have they have already engaged the exchanged the rings. Sid tells he didn't wait for the light to come. Arian congratulates Rambi for his engagement with Prachi. Rambi thanks him, goes to congratulate Prachi and Sid from his side. Rian and Alia celebrate their success with drinks and are really delighted Prachi got engaged to Sid. And now she's out of Rambi's life. Ria thanks Alia for her plan and expresses her joy. Alia tells she knows Rhea is really happy. Rhea wishes to get all the happiness of the world that nobody can stop her from getting Rambi now. Prachi wonders why Rambi is so happy. Rambi happily talks to the guest, hugs Prachi and congratulates her. She tells she knows why he's so happy. He asks Prachi to get shy, goes dancing. Shana tells Prachi that she got something special. She goes with Ram Prachi. Rambi wonders why Prachi is so serious. Rhea sees Priya and insults her by recalling Rahul's torture and tells she wants to eat papaya. Priya asks how she can eat that when she's pregnant. Rhea asks her not to become a, a doctor and threatens Priya. Prachi sees and Shana meet in a room. Shana asks Sid to request her. Prachi asks what the matter. Sid tells he also wants to know the matter. Shana tells them some secrets. Rambi finds them sharing a secret. Shana tells she got the hotel card from Aliyah's room and feels there's some connection with Mihika. Prachi sees Rambi at the door and asks Shana to get quiet. Rambi asks what a they are saying they lie, there's nothing goes on. Rambi tells Sid isn't joking, he's hiding something. Prachi asks if he will support them. Will he leave Rhea and feel sleepy and tells she needs rest? Sid tells even he is feeling sleepy and also excuses himself. Shahana also rushes out. Rambi finds their behavior weird. Prachi remembers Shahana's words, meets Priya, and lends Rhea demanded papaya. Priya asks her not to fire her from the job. Prachi asks how Rhea can have papaya in pregnancy. Priya tells she had also told Bria about it. She asks Priya to trust her and go home, that she will handle Rhea. Vandy teases Dida, Dida over the past. Dida tells Rambi was happy Prachi has won the ring bought by him. He believes Rambi got engaged to Prachi. They happily dance and hug. Prachi still can't figure out what's happening with Rhea and her pregnancy. Shana meets Prachi and asks Prachi why she's looking worried. Why didn't she take rest as she wanted? Prachi tells she's worried for her. Shana asks what's going on. Prachi tells Rhea wanted to have papaya. Priya told her she warned Rhea about it, but Rhea still insisted. Shana also gets a doubt of Rhea. Prachi tells she feels something is wrong and suspects if Rhea wants to abort the baby. Shana asks her not to worry, they would find out. Palavi waits for everyone on the breakfast table. Vikram tells he also asked Vandi to join them for breakfast, but she refused. Sid missed them. Palavi asks if he's happy he got engaged. Rambi tells Ariane the family doesn't know what happened. That he's very happy he wants to celebrate. Ariane asks what they would celebrate. Rambi tells they would have juice and celebrate and asks them to congratulate him. Ariane and Rhea come and ask Rambi about the good news. Rambi tells he has completed a business venture. He's going to make a big profit. Rhea tells Vikram that Mika didn't come because she isn't well. Sid wants to meet Mika and lies and spoke to Milika. Rambi sees Prachi and feels stunned by her beauty. Rhea doesn't know why Prachi comes in front of them always. Alia tells it's a matter of few days. Prachi and Rhea argue. Rambi serves the food to Prachi with love. Alia tells she would go and meet Mihika. Prachi tells Shana that and she are going to meet Sarita. Rambi asks if he can drop her. Rhea doesn't want Prachi to go with Rambi. Alia tells Sid she would just get a file from her room. Rhea goes with her. Rambi asks Prachi if he can drop her. 
Prachi refuses. He tells he also has some work and goes. Prachi and Shana leave. Palavi asks what's going on and doesn't get an answer from everyone. Rambi tells Prachi he will drop her. He also wants to meet Sarita. She doesn't want to take him along. He asks if she's commanding him like a wife. Prachi tells she doesn't want to go with him. Rambi asks her to come to him. Shana comes there. Rambi tries convincing her. Rhea sits in his car and asks him to drop her somewhere for an urgent walk. Rambi and Rhea live in the car. Pracha and Shana follow Rhea in the taxi to see if she would go to the massage parlor or not and hides from Alea when she spots her in the car. Alea takes Sid in the car. Prachi asks the driver to follow Alea's car. Sid wants to meet Mika. Rambi is occupied with Prachi's thoughts. Rhea tells Rambi that they are going to become parents now. Few things got spoiled because of Prachi, that she is Rambi's first and last love. Rambi tells she was never his love. She never loved him. He never loved her. He never felt happy she's in his, in his life. He's just his mistake. Rhea tells that Prachi is his mistake. He should stop thinking of Prachi, who is already marrying Seed. Rambi turns angry and tells Prachi is just of him. She asks what nonsense he's saying, that Prachi already got engaged to Seed. He tells him he's still... He will still love Prachi, even if she marries Sid and goes away from him. He lets engagement happen for a reason. She tells him he's spoiling her life and asks if he has some sense or not. He stops the taxi and sends her off and asks her to go home. He goes away. Rhea cries and calls Alea and asks her to come and pick her. That Rambi stopped, dropped her on the road. Alea asks why Rambi got angry and dropped her on the road and asks if she has fought with him. She asks Sid to get down the car that she can't take him to Mihika today. Sid refuses. She throws Sid out on the road and goes away. Prachi and Shana go to help Sid. Sid tells Alea was taking him to Mihika. Then she changed her plan. When Rhea and Rambi had a fight, he dropped her on the road. So Rhea called Alea to pick her. Prachi tells Rambi sports their plan. Sid feels hot. Shana tells they will take Sid to the doctor first. Alea finds Rhea. Rhea complains about Rambi and tells that he was saying he loves Prachi. She belongs to him. He doesn't care if Prachi marries Sid. His feelings are getting strong for Prachi. Thank you guys for watching today's update on this twist of fate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more updates. Bye.